Today, guys, we are talking about a wedge which will cost you under £75. It's from a brand that is well known amongst the custom build scene, but it's not a brand that I've heard much of, and that is Tora Golf. We have their F Spec wedge. Here they have sent me a 60 degree to try out here. These wedges will cost you, like I say, under £75. They normally come as a set of wedges, which you can get including shafts for $275, as you will see on screen now. We've got a nice matte black finish here. We've got none of the logo on so these wedges can be branded or non-branded you'll have seen previously on the channel i did test out their split set cb irons and those again can have the Tora logo on which i think looks fantastic i'll put that on the screen now or you can go blank again this wedge the aspect wedge is their most popular wedge because they do make irons they do make a bladers set they do make a cb set then they do make different ranges of the wedges so again this is the most popular again this wedge is designed to have that thinner top line so if you like something that's a little bit thinner on the top edge and it's a smaller profile so it's not a long blade length it's not going to look huge it's not going to look chunky you'll have seen previously on the channel last week we had a cleveland wedge on there again the full face cbx cleveland wedge which has got probably one of the biggest faces on a wedge that i've seen in a long time this has gone back obviously being a little bit smaller and a little bit sleeker straight away down at the golf ball obviously looks a lot smaller than the wedge that i did test out here earlier today but let's put it to its test obviously it does say that it's nice and versatile it does come with various bounces and different grinds but how will it perform again 60 degree there and straight off the bat for 75 pounds it's an absolute fantastic wedge dave is absolutely fuming behind the camera he's not happy that that's gone in but lucky shot i've seen in a long long time extremely lucky there okay I haven't chipped in for a while, so I'll take that, obviously, towards the end of the year. But off the face there, that was pretty centred there, and it was it felt nice and soft. Again, nice little bit of check there. Launched pretty low, which is pretty impressive, because that's a 60 degree, and can you manipulate shots? Again, can I get it to launch low? That's one thing I certainly could do there. Again, here at the front, we can see it's got a little bit of a chamfered edge there to help with turf interaction. So that's going to help me be able to square that up, feel like I can get my hands a little bit forwards without that digging straight in if that didn't have that there that potentially would dig straight into the ground so this is where obviously whether it's a cheap wedge if whether it's an expensive wedge it's all about making sure that it's versatile and it can play multiple shots one thing that I would be worried about, and again, I didn't mention it when I tested the irons, is with the matte black finish, is it going to scuff up pretty quickly? Are you going to start to get marks on there? And really, I don't want to hear another shot now I've chipped in, but I will hit one more for Dave. Won't be two in a row, aren't I? But again, we'd take both of those. That popped up a little bit higher. That was a little bit off the toe of the club, but I still got a reasonable speed off that. I still got a good launch. I still got good control. And that's all you want from a wedge. But I'm going to put this to a test now in the bunker and start to see, does it scuff up? We know as soon as you get one in there, if it's got maybe a few stones in there or the sand gets on the face, will it mark up? Again, £75. Still not cheap in my eyes. Obviously, you're still spending your hard-earned money. Will it scuff up? more so than a premium wedge. So what guys, on earth is this you're giving me here? Well guys, I was going to test this out, but a celebrity <laughs> came from behind those trees. The so bushes. James in testing this. James has been prolific out of the bunkers, I would say. So let's put it to the test, James. Obviously, we're, we're talking about will it scuff up for the price? £75. I think black finish tend to, don't they? Let's see. Performance-wise, doing its job Felt there. okay, felt nice. I think personally, the leading edge is a bit too square. You look down at that, I'd like to see it a little bit more rounded. You can see that that's come out the toe just a little bit. You're always going to lose some, some of the markings on there. And I think maybe the heel's a bit high as well. But apart from that, I mean, from that angle, bag appeal looks absolutely fantastic. I love how industrial that looks. Can we get one a bit higher? Very That's nice. Soft, plenty of loft on yeah, it. I feel like you can sort of like say if we played a longer one, this is quite a short one, isn't it? Say if we played one into that bank where those leaves are, can you sort of get the control you want? Because these are the harder shots. Not too bad. Felt okay, a little bit heavier than what I wanted. And that's where for me, if that's too sharp and too square, you can start to struggle in wet sand like that. But oh no, I really enjoyed that. Actually, I know I've only hit a couple of shots, but not bad for the price. 
So straight away there, after James's bunker shots, we can start to see that that is scuffing up straight away, which is probably what you expect from this finish, but obviously you'd be disappointed if you find the bunker on the first hole. But this is a bit of a trilogy because we've now got mid-handicap Dave in to test these. So we've had James in the bunker. I've tested it off the tight stuff. We're now going where Dave normally finds himself, and that's in the rough. So obviously from here, looking down at this club, Dave, obviously you use an affordable wedge, a £77 Tacomo Skyforger. How is this looking compared to those? Obviously a different finish. Yeah, I, I like a black finish, but they do scuff up, so... The, you the, wouldn't probably go for the finish, but No, looks... they're great initially, but the actual wedge looks well. Um, yeah, James said about a square yeah, leading edge. and it is, and and it's not something I prefer. Um, the Tacoma's certainly not square, and the ones I had previous to that, which were the Clevelands, they, they were more rounded as well. Yeah, so interesting there that obviously both of James and Dave, different ends of the spectrum as golfers, certainly had different... <laughs> certainly had... And football fans. And different football fans. Certainly had the same kind of opinion. I did like it behind the golf ball, so that's where it is, obviously, personal preference. Which is there for Dave. Nice flight there, running down. Not quite the chip in the eye, had Dave, but it's, well, it's not well, bad. But, you know. We'd take that. We can't all thin them like that, can we? However, Dave did chip in from that bunker. Ooh. That was another good shot. Right. Right, we've got some guys behind us, so we're going to move on, guys. I'm going to keep testing this wedge. So for a mid-handicap golfer, this is probably the scariest place. Off a tight lie with a wedge. Obviously, not a place that you would use your wedge, Dave, to be honest. No, it isn't. I'd be using something like a... I don't know. I'd, I'd try and get it to about there, so I'd be using something like a 9-iron. Yeah, so Dave wouldn't be maybe using this club, but obviously for me, obviously with that leading edge, having that little bit of chamfer at the front, this is where Dave can actually square this up and still try and play one relatively low like I did off this. And this is where obviously this club does have versatility, but if you don't like the look behind it, if that square leading edge is something that puts you off, then it's going to be very hard to trust this. But you'll have seen we have been through the other options on the website. That Tora do do I'm quite with wedges. Happy with that, Chris. You'd be very happy. Pick that off nice and clean there, Dave. So let's now just go. Let's say, well, I'm going to go a little bit higher. We've got to carry it a little bit further onto the green. So again, you can open this club up a little bit. Let's well, see if we can play something like that. Again, this is not the percentage shot from here, but it's testing out a wedge, really putting it through its paces. He's been able to do that. Certainly carried it further. Had a little bit of spin on there, Dave. Yeah. Overall, it, it was higher. Yeah. Overall, compared to your Tacomos, obviously different. Price-wise, similar. Would you say the performances are similar? I don't think there's much difference in them, if I'm honest. No. Um, I'm, yeah, I like the black finish. I'm, I'm not that keen on the squared um, leading edge. No. But, you know. Horses for courses, that, some people really like that. And that's it guys, it's all about personal preference, so you've got to think about what do you like to see down behind the golf ball. It's exactly the same if you're picking a hybrid over a seven wood, you might prefer the smaller look or you might go for a utility iron because you prefer to look a nine. Wedges are exactly the same. Again, plenty of wedges on the range from Tora. Hopefully we'll be getting a few more of those to test out and maybe some of the putters because it's certainly a range that is affordable and it's one that we don't see a lot of. So is it going to be right up there with your Kirklands, right up there with your Tacomos? Let's continue to look into that. 